already said wet t-shirt competitions. You okay? Uh, yeah, I, uh, just a bit jumpy. Had a, a crazy night. Sorry, I wasn't here to see it. I've been, uh, I've been meaning to introduce myself. I'm Nicole. Nicole Hot. Hi. And you are? Waverly Earp. Quite a popular girl around here. Oh, you know, it's all in the smile and wave. Yeah. Can I get a cappuccino to go? Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, we're not actually open yet, so. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, my bad. It's just when I, uh, when I see something I like, I don't want to wait. And your door was open. God, I'm sucking wet. <laughs> you know, I keep telling Shorty he needs to fix the darn taps. Sorry, do you mind just, uh... Oh. oh. Gonna... Ah. So... <laughs> oh. Oh, up. Um, uh, uh, officer, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Let me help you. <laughs> I got you. Oh. Oh, God. Good job you're not some guy, right? This would be really, really awkward. <sighs> um, I, I owe you one. All right, well, how about you buy me that cup of coffee? How about tonight? Oh, I can't. No. I mean, I'd love to, but, like, like to, uh, but I have plans. Yeah. I'm a planner. <laughs> like to know what I'm doing at least two or three days in advance, and that... I'm in a relationship with a boy, man. A boy, man. Yep, I've been there. <laughs> it's the worst. Okay, well, some other time. I mean it. Officer Hot. Hey, uh, you asked to be alerted whenever things come over the wire that seem unusual. Yeah, we're coming. Thanks. Maybe we just missed. Waverly. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he's gone. It's okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, hey, um, I got your voicemail. Yeah. About Winona. Thanks. Well, it was really sweet. Yeah, sure. Of course. I don't know. Something about her rubs me the wrong way. Officer, what's her name? It's hot. Huh? She's... She... Oh, baby, 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 it's okay. Don't cry. She said she was glad I called. I bet. What was the last thing you saw? Waverly are smiling at me from her front porch. And, uh, and Winona? Must be exactly what Jack's looking for. Waverly, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Just glad you're okay. Whoa, whoa, where's the holdup? Is your cop? Right, sorry. Um, can we talk? Yeah, yeah. God, we're totally overdue. Okay, I'm not. I'm not crazy, right? There's something going on here? No, you're not crazy. Okay. Well, I'm not sure I'm really ready to whew, get into it. Why? Because it's different for me, right? And, you know, it's, it's really personal. Uh, but it's personal for everybody, right? I mean, they must know. People must whisper about it. Oh my God, I hope not. You, no, uh, I kind of only just discovered it when I met you. Me? Yeah. Uh, you're kind of special. Uh, okay, uh, 
I mean, I'm a bit more open-minded, but it's not like I have some mystical gift or something. No, I get it. You're a lesbian, not a unicorn, right? What? What? You're making fun of me. No. Sorry, don't you want to talk? I want the truth. What? Oh. Well, I think I'd do better with a unicorn. Waverly, what are you doing? Being alone? I want to be alone. All right. Well, you've reached the edge of town, so any further out and you're going to freeze to death. Let's get in the car. No, thank you. I got a taser. Don't you make me use it. Okay, so I'll start. Um, I'm sorry for being such an asshole before. First you want to talk, then you don't want to talk, then you tell me to talk, okay. so talk. Okay, well, maybe we should figure out what exactly it is we're talking about. Gus is selling sureties. She acts like she won't, but she is. And everything's changing around me, but it's all too fast, you know? And it's like nobody ever asks me if I'm okay with it. It's like, could everybody just stand still for one freaking minute? It's gonna be okay. I just screamed at you. You shouldn't be nice to me. <laughs> you know, I think you've just been dating too many shitheads. We're not dating. I know. God, really, I would never ask you to be someone you're not. Good, just don't ask me to be anyone at all. Fine. Fine. Well, maybe just friends. Yeah, sure, Waverly, whatever you want. Hey, Natalie out for dinner? Oh, you mean happy hour at Shorty's? Yeah. Same time every day, kind of like clockwork. Hey. Wave. Hey. Excuse me. What is your problem? What happened to friends? You know what I've always wanted? What? To parachute out of a plane at 15,000 feet. Yeah, to swim far, far out into the ocean so that I can't see the bottom anymore. To eat gooey duck. Isn't that the one that kind of looks like a... Yeah, it is. Point is, I've always wanted to do things that scared me, but... Oh, it's not so easy to be brazen. <laughs> When the thing that you want, that, that scares you to death, is sitting right in front of you. I scare you. Yes. Yes, you do. Because I don't want to be friends. When I think about what I want to do most in this world, it's you. Oh, God, that sounded so much more romantic in my head. Just uh, jump in anytime, Nicole, because I really, really don't know how to do this. Oh, sure you do. Maybe I should just stop talking. See? You're getting better at this already. Maybe you should stop talking, too. Maybe you should make me. in Emily's office. Because uh, when, yes. OK, here she blows. Uh, Doc and I slept together. And that's news, really. <sighs> to you, to you, OK. Hey, OK, so where were we? Because I seem to think it was something about like candles, you trying to get me into a sexy black dress, something's wrong. A lot of things might be wrong. Dolls and Winona and her gun. OK, what is the deal with that gun, anyway? We have reports of a pink four-door sedan driving erratically on Highway 81. Please respond. Did you say pink? Oh, boy.
How about a frickin' explanation, huh? If there's any kindness in you, you'll arrest me real quick. Sorry there, stone cold. Not getting off so easy. So where do you think you're going? Can't you at least try? And I'm trying with Nicole. The difference is, she adores you back. How many times do I have to tell you that stuff is poison? I've been dressing her wind for the past few days. Yeah, and I've been redressing it. <sighs> Coconut oil. We used it on everything at the commune. You know, you don't have to be here every time. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, hey, why don't you pop out and I'll talk to you later? Yeah, sure, I'll just pop out. I'm exhausted. Please, I didn't even have time to accessorize. Ah, uh, see, I knew I wore this bracelet for a reason. Mm. Thanks. Hey, if we get out of here, we are getting dressed up way more often. What do you, what do you mean, if we get out of here? Um, just stay by the exits, okay? We'll have it. You know, as soon as we break up, you just swoop in and steal my girl. Okay, lower your voice. Waverly doesn't belong to anyone. Blah, blah, blah. Feminine, blah. Champ, you're drunk and apparently a raging homophobe. Oh, you think it's because she's a girl? Okay, Champ, I think you've had enough. Oh, of course you're gonna take her side. You know, every time I fail that preliminary law enforcement exam, she would say, this, okay, Champ, you have nothing to prove, but apparently that was a lie. She's dating the cop. Well, I guess that would be their own private business. Come on, son, let's get you out of here. No! Oh my God. Champ, are you on something other than bubbly? Oh! Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> Nicole, come with us. Champ's right way. We're dating a cop now, and we go where the danger is. God, that's sexy. Look, at least call him back up. We're gonna contain this, okay? Okay. You didn't drink the champagne, did you? No, you? No. Okay. Okay. No. Shit. Willow. Willow! Hey, I knew you recognize that ring sound. Peacemaker, where I punch a bunch of holes in Waverly's girlfriend. Girlfriend? Um, kind of. Kind of? I know you won't shoot. What do I care about some ginger butch cop? Why don't she'll do it? Waverly? If I don't have it in three. No, please. It's the only thing that'll stop Bobo. Two. Wait a minute. I can't. Please. I love her. One. Okay. So naive, so emotional. 
This isn't over. I'm coming for you. Then I better slow you down. Now you know what it feels like when people take your things. No blood. My sister joined the dark side, and you've been a revenant this whole time. I'm just gonna call in sick tomorrow. She's no one. Wearing a bulletproof vest. It's kind of standard operating procedure when we got a 404 on our hands. Bunch of crazy hicks off their rockers. <laughs> Finally picked a smart one. I'm gonna get you to the hospital, okay? I'm just a little bit bruised. You gotta go with Winona and stop your sister. Sorry, but she's kind of a dickhead. Wish Doc and Dolls were here. They went to raid shorties. Something about an antidote. See? Super smart. Yeah, you guys do that. Time's up, let's go. Bobo did something to her. She shot my girlfriend. No.